My name is Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how I built this extra long outdoor couch. So I found the plans for this couch on the Ryobi Nation website and plans were for a 79 inch couch and I wanted something much longer for my balcony. We got rid of our old patio furniture, it was just too bulky and we decided that we just wanted one long couch out here and that 79 inches was going to be a little shorter than what we wanted and when we got online to look for something that we could just buy and put out here, we were looking at spending a couple thousand dollars for what we wanted either from Restoration Hardware or Pottery Barn and so building this made the most sense. It only costs $44 in wood. I found the cushions on Ikea. They were $25 for a bottom cushion and $15 for the back cushion, I believe. They're 24 by 24. And I made this couch, and well, I modified the plans for this couch with intentions to buy these cushions, knowing that I was going to be fitting four 24 inch wide cushions onto the couch. I also found the pillows for this couch at Target, and I think they, well, I bought them today, so they definitely still have them. Um, and they were the best quality pillows that they had. I did, everything else felt really plasticky. I wanted something that I would actually want to put, like lay against and feel on my skin. And these are kind of like a cloth material, so really nice. The only other piece of equipment that we had to buy was a Craig jig because we didn't have that. And that's definitely what, something that you will need in order to make the pocket holes. Um, which combines the back piece to this couch and we ended up using it to make three supports that were not included in the plans. We saved a lot of money doing this project. We just modified lengths on the plans and it was really easy and simple to put together. I think anybody can do this within a weekend and I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to put a link down below in the description box to the original plans that I used for this project. And what I will include in this video is how I modified those plans to fit four cushions and to end up at 103 inches long. The first thing you're gonna need to get for this project are 11 two by fours, and we got them at 10 feet long, and they were $2.44 a piece. Other items that we used for this project were two and a half inch long, exterior wood screws, two and a half inch pocket hole screws, a hand sander, sandpaper, a miter saw, measuring tape, a square drill, and also a mini pocket hole jig. Nine of my two by fours are gonna be cut down to 96 inches. So that's what I'm doing with my miter saw, taking nine of my boards and I'm marking them at 96 inches and cutting off the excess. The excess adds up to be 24 inches, which is perfect because I need 14 two by fours at 24 inches. So I just need to take my 10th two by four and cut five more pieces at 24 inches. And then with my 11th two by four, I'm gonna cut two pieces at 27 inches and three pieces at nine and one eighth of an inch. And these are the three support pieces that I added to the back of the couch that are not included in the original plans from Ryobi Nation. Make sure you sand all of your boards. I just use a 220 grit just to get off that top layer of roughness and to smooth them out. It didn't fix any knots or major holes in the boards, but that's fine. This is an outdoor couch. I don't need the wood to be perfect. I don't recommend skipping this step because you're going to be putting cushions on this couch and you wanna make sure that you don't have anything major that's sticking out of the wood that could catch your cushions and possibly cause a rip or tear in them. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking two of my 96 inch long two by fours, laying them out out and I'm putting six of my 24 inch two by fours in between and I'm gonna make sure that I evenly space these I'm gonna have two that sit flush with the ends and then the other four on the inside are gonna be evenly spaced from there on out and it came out to be about 19.2 inches between each board and then I went in with my two and a half inch exterior screws and every place that the 24 inch boards met the 96 inch board I screwed in 
two screws, one on top and one on the bottom. And I also used my square to make sure that I was keeping a perfect 90 degree angle between those boards. And I worked my way side to side and that seemed to help keep everything really square and really even as I worked. Next thing we did was we built the arms. We have two 24 inch long pieces and then for the top, it's our 27 inch long piece. We used a box to keep these in place, but you can also use a wall. As you can see, we just used four screws to screw that top piece into those legs. With my measuring tape, I went ahead and marked 13 inches on both sides of my legs, and that's where I attached the top of this 24 inch board that's gonna run between the two of them. I just screw these in with two screws on either side of both legs. And then another 24 inch board is gonna lay right inside of there, and it's gonna lay flat and flush against those three boards. And I somehow lost footage of this, but you're going to screw those in from the outside of those two legs as well. You're gonna repeat these same steps to make your other arm. And so then because we had some stairs to come up, we decided to attach our arms to the base of our couch on the balcony where the couch was going to live. You're gonna screw from the inside of your frame into the bottom board on the arms. At this point in the project, you should have seven boards at 96 inches left, and you're going to attach six of them as the seat of the couch. And the way that I spaced them was I used an extra board in between to create that little gap. And because we modified these plans, the last two boards are gonna butt up right next to each other and sit flush towards the back of the seat. I secured these boards with two screws on either end and I also secured them at each joist in the middle. This is probably the most complicated part of our project. We'd never used a Craig jig before, but we figured it out fairly quickly. We are attaching our very last board. It is our back support for our couch. And we used pressure clamps to hold the Craig jig in place and the drill bit that came with the Craig jig to drill our pocket hole. And once the hole was in place, we used our two and a half inch pocket hole screws to screw that back piece into the arm. And then we just did the same thing on the other side. And then, because maybe, I don't know, I just am a little bit of a perfectionist, I went back through and I just sanded all of the edges. I wanted everything to be a little more rounded than it was, and I did miss a couple of stamps on some of the two by fours that I wanted to get rid of. If I could change anything about this project, it would be that I would have stained all of my two by fours before I put the couch together, but I didn't do that. So it was kind of a pain in the butt to stain. If you do plan to make this, I recommend staining all of your wood and then putting your couch together. For stain, I used two different stains. I used classic gray from Minwax and I layered provincial over it. And the classic gray kind of served as a little bit of a buffer between the wood and the provincial. Cause as you can see, the classic gray doesn't do much but the Provincial on its own is really, really dark and I wanted something just a little bit lighter than Provincial and I had these two in the cabinet and I think it worked out perfectly. I love this combination of stains. And I always keep an extra dry cloth and go back and I wipe down everywhere where I just stained. It helps to really smooth the tone and texture of your stain. After the stain was dry, I sealed the couch with a Minwax Polycrylic. I got it in a satin crystal clear finish and I did three coats. And the last three cuts of wood at nine and one eighth of an inch are these little three posts that we added on at the very end. We created four pocket holes of each one and attached it to the back board of the couch. I do recommend this if you decide to do this project because it is longer than the original plans. It just needs a little extra support to brace that back piece. If you found this project helpful, please leave me a comment and make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on my next project.